Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing no matter what that world throws at us. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. It is Tuesday, the 4th of July, 2023, and this is a YouTube premiere because we are still away, still enjoying our travels and adventures, still enjoying our beautiful country. And I don't think we will ever take take it for granted after the last three years. We are so glad that we can get away. Cheap skaters, if you haven't balanced your bank accounts in a while, if you lose your bills before they're paid, you put off filing your tax return because you can't find the receipts or you've lost your group certificate or whatever, it's just too difficult to get everything together then it is probably time to organise your finances. Tonight I'm going to share five quick ideas with you that will get them under control. Number one, consolidate your credit cards. Now use this method with caution and only if you are absolutely prepared to cancel all but one credit card and then not use it. You're going to pay it off. You're not going to increase your debt. Rather than having a whole bunch of different credit cards, just consolidate them all onto a single card, preferably one that has a no interest introductory period and then a lower interest rate than what you are currently paying. Now, the benefit of this is less confusion over which card to use because you're not going to use any card. It gives you a better idea of how much debt you're actually accumulating with the interest it may give you more back for your dollar and you'll only have one credit card payment per month. Now the trick here is to pay it off and not use it. Learn to live on the cash you have, not the cash you wish you had. And whatever that first payment amount is, is the amount you will continue to pay until the debt is cleared. Number two, use a bill paying system. As soon as you get bills, in the mail, if you still get them in the snail mail or email, they should immediately be placed into a bill paying system of some kind. All your pending bills are then in one place ready to be paid once a week or once every two weeks or whenever you get paid. Use that same bill paying system to store your paid bill summaries and the receipts, being sure that each category is in its own folder or envelope depending on how you do it. Now, doing this makes it really simple to look something up if you ever need to. Now, we have a rather handy and extensive bill paying system on our website. It's what I have used for years and years. I love that it's um, flexible. It can be tailored to suit the individual budgeting and bill paying needs. It works. Number three is organise your expenses as you spend. If you want to know how much you spend each month so you can determine your monthly spending budget, you need to record your expenses. Call it your expense summary. Now, tracking your spending isn't popular right now. There are some crazies out there who will try to tell you that you don't need to know what you spend. I suggest you ignore them because if you don't know where your money is going, you don't control it. Number four is balance your bank accounts at least monthly, preferably every time you get paid. In order for you to have a really good idea of how much money is sitting in your bank accounts, what bills are cleared, what are pending, if there's any errors that you or your bank may have made, you must balance your bank accounts. You need to know if there's a random Uber charge on there. It doesn't really take long. If you balance your bank account the same day you get paid, under 10 minutes and you'll know 2% how much you have to save, how much you have to spend and that all your bills are paid. Lastly, number five, timely for right now, keep your tax related stuff together. Right before tax season, you are going to start to receive heaps of tax related information from your employer, your bank, 
the stockbroker, whoever, keep them all in a labelled file folder. Then when you're ready to do your tax return or hand it over to your accountant, you won't have to do any searching for what you need. It will be in one spot. Easy peasy. Five simple ways to get your finances organised. Anyone can do them. Everyone should. Okay, thank you for watching all the way through and for subscribing because you have clicked that subscribe button, haven't you? If you know someone who might like this video, please click the share button to send them the link. There's three simple things that you can do, um, like subscribe and share, to help our channel grow. And we need our channel to grow because when it grows, it's more easily recognised. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it absolutely can still be done even in today's crazy, crazy world. I'll be back very soon with another Cheapskates Club video to save you money, time and energy. But until then, have a great week and happy cheapskating.